guazzetti con guazzetto di costolette di maiale. I know most of you like your ribs, barbecue ribs, but I like my pork ribs braised in tomato sauce. And it makes a great sauce, and then it makes a great big pasta dish. And you can feed a lot of people with some ribs like this. So first of all, we want to braise the ribs, and this is regular pork ribs. You can do the baby back, you can do the, the front, and all of the ribs will do, but this, this is delicious. And you know, I think cooking with meat on the bone and with cartilage and some fat in it really yields the best, the most tender meat, the best sauce. I recall grandma would go to the butcher and she would buy meats, but it was all about the bone. Now, today, it's all about the base. But in my time, it was all about the bones. So grandma would go in the butcher and she would buy uh, two, three, eight, a little bit, maybe a quarter of a pound of meat. And the rest, she would say, can I have some extra bones? For the soup, made the great soup. For a sauce, it made the great sauce. All the cartilage around the bone would really release that kind of finger sticking goodness. Mm. Let's say you do a roast, you do a braising. Uh, I always like to brown the meat first. That adds a lot of flavor, so. And uh, that's a question that I get often about browning meat. And here, Mona Haynes, from California actually, wants to know, do you always have to brown the meat before you're slow cooking it? You don't always have to brown the meat, but it really adds all that extra uh, flavor. It holds the meat together. And, then, and if you throw the meat in the sauce just like that, it kind of has that kind of meaty flavor, the raw meaty flavor. So you don't have to cook it much, you know? Just brown it, that's what you want. Okay, here we are. You see, just brown it a little bit on the side. All right. So let's put in the onions right here. Garlic cloves so they release the flavor. And then I can always remove them. A little bit of salt on the onions. We'll add some celery here. Okay, so this is raised. Let's add some wine. Throw the ribs back in. With all the juices. And this is plum tomatoes. You know, I like those San Marzano. I just crush them with my hands. Pour them right. And like this, and I'm gonna collect all of this tomatoes that I have here, just like that. Let's add the bay leaves, nice fresh bay leaves, three. If you have dry ones, double that, six. Bring it back to boil, then you put the cover on, and once it's perking, you lower it to a little bubble, and you let it cook, and this will take about an hour and a half. Depends on the size of your ribs. And we'll be ready to throw la pasta, butta la pasta. The ribs uh, guazzetto is done. The pasta is just about there. Okay, so let's, yes, yes, yes. You see, when the rib starts kind of falling off the bone, you know they're done. So let's get them out. Okay, so let's get the bay leaf out. Move the pasta closer. I like to just fish it out like that. And let's get this right into the pasta sauce. Al dente, but even a little bit extra al dente, so this way it finishes cooking in the sauce. Just like that.
And I'm gonna shut it off and then I'm gonna add the cheese. The cheese I add the last minute. This way just kind of melts into the pasta. Okay. Now you see a big pot of pasta like this. You know, you can put two pounds, three pounds of pasta. You can invite your neighbors or unexpected guests uh, in Italy. You know, they say there's always room for another chair at the table. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just kind of, I wanna glisten the meat all over again because just being out, it dried a little bit. So I'm gonna just toss it around like this. So it heats up again and it glistens. Mmm. Just like that. Okay, that looks good. So let me get my little dish here. Okay, a sprig of basil going to release that wonderful aroma of freshness and basil. So that's for the table and that's for me. I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on mine and this one is for me. Let me taste. Assaggiare. Mm. Delicious. Delicioso. The pasta is nice al dente. The cheese, everything is just a big harmony of pasta and sauce. Voila, buongiorno, buon appetito. Mm. To learn more about Lydia, access to videos, and to get recipes, tips, techniques, and much more, visit us online at lydiasitaly.com.